The industrial seaside town of Wyala, in the upper Spencer Gulf of South Australia, is home to a unique wildlife phenomenon. Beneath these waters, the giant cuttlefish, a relative of the squid and octopus, can be seen displaying its remarkable colour and shape-changing abilities. Chromatophores in the animal's skin allow it to reproduce the colours and patterns and even textures of their surrounding environment. Gathering in their thousands in the winter months, the males seek out females to mate, lay their eggs and perpetuate the species. This is the only known place in the world where a mass aggregation of these animals occurs. The spectacle attracts tourists and scientists from around the world. The females tend to be smaller, and the large males aggressively pursue them. They strobe patterns across their skin using the chromatophores that allow them to transform themselves so quickly. Their defence of their women and territory is fierce. Mating appears aggressive, with the male lunging at the female, grasping her in a full frontal embrace. The male then passes the female a packet of sperm with a dedicated tentacle. The habitat is shared with jellyfish and other species that drift along, feeding in the current. Here's a globefish, a shy and adorable relative of the puffer. And the sweep, small, skittish and curious. And of course, the noble snapper. Lone cuttlefish are wary of predators and masquerade as weed to disguise themselves. After eggs are laid, both male and female cuttlefish die, making their population extremely vulnerable to commercial fishing and environmental change. Proposed industrial developments threaten the livelihoods of these animals, whose hatch rates crash as salinity increases, and whose organs can be irreversibly damaged by noise pollution. Surely this is something worth protecting.